How good are these seven stars? So, hello everybody. As you know, 24 hours ago, or give or take that, there was a drop of an update, and in that particular update allowed you to look over seven star champions. I thought it would be interesting for us to have a little bit of kind of a, a look over these uh, these ones, and uh, let's just kind of like get straight into it. Of course we should. So, as I know, if you can filter, you then go down to seven stars, you then get some of the champions. These are the champions that are going to be in the seven star pool. And the thing that interests me about this is looking at, say, the varieties of the lower ones. See, you're going to see rank six, seven stars in this. You definitely know Kabam are going to be trying to make as much money from uh, from these further ranks as possible. It's copy-paste. It's exactly what they did with five stars. Say exactly what they did with six stars. And they're looking to maximize more when it comes to seven stars. But the things that interest me, well, amongst a few things, health pool, attack, stuff like that. This kind of gives you an idea of where the future is going with MCC, but also it gives you a bit of kind of an inspiration. You know, at some stage, if you're thinking about going and taking on Act 6, Labyrinth of Legends, Abyss of Legends, you might want to have a champion that is able to do a lot more damage and also take a bit more damage. So with all that kind of like end game content in mind, and also the stat focus, let's have a look at 7 stars. Now, there are certain champions that I would have loved to have seen in um, the, the the kind of, you know, they're in six stars. Apocalypse. I love, I would love to see a seven star version of Apocalypse. It's a favorite of mine. It's a favorite champion I'd like to use. Of course, it's got um, just great helpfulness. Whether or not it kind of acts any kind of great. Uh, the debuff damage is the most the thing I'm most interested in that. I do want to get myself a seven star Hulk. And let's have a quick look at that one. There's a few champions I want to check out with this one. So if you're able to get a rank six, seven star Hulk, you're looking at 146,000 health and 10,000 uh, attack. Now, that is fantastic. Coupled with the fact that you could even kind of uh, set up a, um, uh, a stat focus that's uh, for defense and attack. And let's face it, if you're going in for the whole kind of attack side of things, then you may be looking to go, okay, well, I'll do stat focus on... Uh, actually, no, I don't think we can choose any. I think there's some other ones that you can choose on this. Um, but um, so normally we can check this out for the attack, uh, the um, stat focus, because that would have been good. Obviously, you need the champion first in order to go do it. But uh, I think there's one that's kind of uh, for special attacks. So that would be cool to see that. I don't know if it's the, when it says stat focus. I, I think don't think these are the stats right here that you can you kind of have a look at because they're attributes. The stats uh, focus will be something else. I'll look see if I can just get that up on on screen, um, which will be from the um, the stream recently that uh, that Kabam did. Uh, but in the meantime, whilst I kind of work to kind of get that up on screen, which is right here, I think there's um, there must be some kind of well same thing that goes in line with some of the attributes because you as i said before like the special damage there plus eight percent which would go great with the likes of hulk rotations and stuff like that maybe in stuff like critical damage rating i don't know because it's very front end champion as whether or not you want to put into something like you're going in certain fight you need more uh, energy resistance or physical resistance I don't know, like, again, situational armor rating as well, maybe something that factors into nodes. And maybe this is something that would be important. Uh, rotating seven star champions around nodes and stuff like that. I don't know. Like, I can't really predict the future. But it's definitely something that interests uh, interests myself. And that special damage stat that you could pull on. I mean, look, let's go back to the seven star pool a second and go, right, well, what would benefit from doing extensive or more extensive damage uh, from special attacks? Storm Pyramid X has prowess as part of her kit. Could be a case you're doing more damage based on that. Uh, I'm also trying to find some other examples. Uh, maybe Sunspot, possibly. But then, then again, maybe it's something that would be better triggered with... If a champion has an ability as a 7-star that is all about critical rating, the more critical rating you do, uh, or more, you know, you have that spider kit, the more uh, likely you trigger something. I mean, here's a good example. Like, imagine if Iceman was a seven star. If you followed the channel yesterday, then you know I did a video about, well, because of the 200 signature element of the kit, and also as part of the base abilities, if you get a critical rating, um, sorry, if you get a crit, then, um, which critical rating obviously would benefit, you get a crit, 
you get a, you do a frostbite. So it's something like that. If there's a champion, like the ones right here, that have that as part of their kit, then that can be a massive positive to the champion's effectiveness damage. Um, same way it could be for the, uh, from a defense perspective. I also completely forgot it's it's part of the kit for Gambit to get that. So again, it could be the same kind of principle. Like, right, well, you go special damage for a stat um, to choose, then that could be, again, improving the extent of damage you could do with Gambit and put, turning the champion a lot more... Uh, more powerful, potent, and especially if it's got a relic with it, then I guess is seven stars with relics, is that something that's going to become game breaking? I say the, from a defensive point of view, there's two champions which I absolutely don't enjoy playing up against a lot of the time unless it's got certain counters, and that's Killmonger and Korg. Yes, there are counters, and no, I shouldn't be afraid of like the particular champions, but I just find them quite annoying or quite boring um, to fight against, and that's just a personal opinion. But then again, it could have some element to these particular uh, champions that would be, again, beneficial or kind of like working and against. Like from a defense perspective, you're going up against them against uh, in like B battlegrounds or future arena, not arena, um, alliance wars or something like that. And you improve something like uh, physical resistance. Not saying that any of these champions need physical resistance. You uh, give something like, I don't know, uh, energy resistance on Korg, which Korg uh, predominantly has a high amount of um, uh, energy, non-energy resistance. God, I, need to, I need to, without kind of reading abilities, which I should kind of read a bit more. And, and there we go, that's the full, this, this is what I was kind of like getting to. Uh, Bleed Shock and, uh, and additional critical resistances um, is immune to them, but decreases his energy resistance by 20%. So his energy resistance is down. So when the energy resistance is down, top top it back up again with a defender uh, stat focus, which you can do right there. I'm not saying that 442 is going to make any kind of game breaking, providing that is the stat that is uh, that would be added because it could be something like 100 or 200 or 300 or whatever. Uh, I just we just don't know when these stats are released what they are. Um, will they scale with the the rank? The rank's not really shown we need answers here's where things get super spicy and as i said um hit pull is important i mean attack is important we said we said that. i'm gonna go through some of these champions in a second and try and find like the champion that's got the most attack because it looks like the champion that's got the most health point is sasquatch now from a six star perspective seventy five thousand is a lot i mean look we all you have to be living under rock not to kind of like know that that's that champion has a six star a lot but uh, yeah, a rank 6 version of Sasquatch is 191,000 health points. I would not like to be taking a champion up against that unless I had... To. I mean, look, when he gets 200 signature and like how his kind of like signature ability scales up, the extent of like health per tick could be astronomically annoying uh, is what uh, I'd, I'd, you know we could, we could say to, uh, to that. And quite interestingly so far, and I thought there would be a lot of champions... And look... Again, attributes wise, we're saying like, oh, you know, if it's got an attack rating, blah, 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 it's going to be the most damage dealing, blah, 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 blah. Maybe, maybe not. Always take these kind of attributes. I mean, like health pool, take, don't take that with a pinch of salt because that's actually what the health pool of the champion is going to get. Amantis has like one of the lowest health pools so far. Uh, not from all of the champions that I've seen, because, you know, some are 200k, the, but the lower end is probably that. Lower end, 131,000, but the attack, man, that's 13,018, um, like, attack rate, and that's pretty big for Mantis. If you've seen some of the buffs that are coming for this champion, uh, it's probably going to be something that's going to be pretty meaty in damage. So, I guess there's a lot, kind of like, if you know the champion, know the rota rotation, like the rotation of the champion, and it could be a case you can actually, um, action out like a huge amount of damage from this champion so it's it's in pretty it's pretty impressive and pretty fun i do think as well domino domino's actually got quite close to eleven thousand. uh it's in the same thing like 30 133,000 health pool to um uh 10,000 nearly 11,000 uh attack rating so it's pretty impressive as well now one champion that i personally enjoy for battlegrounds is sunspot sunspot has access to a high amount of of incinerate damage in a very short space of uh, of time which makes it ideal for certain situations and also just like ramping a lot of damage uh, quickly with pace so it's going to be an interesting thing now with a seven star version it's uh, a 909.3 uh, energy damage per incinerate uh, over 
five seconds, of course. Compare that with a, and this is obviously the rank five version, um, the rank six version of a seven star. And I'll go into six star rank five, so 909, 358. What? That's a lot. That is a big kind of like jump up right there. Um, and I'm sure that damage cap can only be felt once you get to the rank six, but it's like, it's still like a, it's a big chunk of damage. And especially when you've got a seven star, you it will obliterate through stuff and this is the thing that really interests me is when we're able to take some of these seven stars more prevalently into older content where it's going to be like debuff damages are doing so much damage the yellow numbers are bigger than ever and one other one of the champion um in that particular mix apart from storm pyramid x which i really would like to get a seven star just to check check things out hulk of course gamora okay and there's other ones i'm not like i'm not saying that any other champion's not bad for kind of going oh i want to see this uh do big yellow numbers it just goes back to the the, the old days when six stars started coming out and gamora was one of them and especially when she got her buff her first buff and her second buff it's very interesting to note where the extent of damage potency is with a champion that builds fury as much as she does with a champion that builds up as much um uh what is it like uh, cruelty and stuff like that then how is that action when it comes to, to damage and potency and if you're kind of looking at situations of of applying a stat focus of special damage plus eight percent man it's gonna be really really fun uh, and also um there's there's another thing with these seven stars and the stat focus, which uh, I think might be quite an interesting topic, and that's regen and sustainability and survivability. So I mean, look, part of the base kit of any of these uh, these particular champions is stat focusing around adrenaline. Now I don't I don't expect any no one should expect any player to predict the future and go oh by the way do you know that when you face that particular boss you're going to be losing some health because you're going to make a mistake. Oh, how did you know that? no one knows but if you're going into a boss fight and going to yourself right well there's a chance that i might take some damage i'm not really very good at this particular fight then you could put on adrenaline and find yourself being able to uh, if you're able to like action quickly build back some of the health that you've lost because that's the other thing as well adrenaline still plays a part in not just the six stars but the seven stars as well so if you said it you're like okay you've got that kind of clear that, that kind of grayed out bar and it's like instead of it being uh, I don't know, 10% of your um, uh, your health your health pool that you could reclaim back. It's now 15%. So that's, that could be really kind of positive uh, for yourself. But the same thing when it comes to like champions. Like the, um, like for example, one of my favorites is um, Guillotine 2099. I would like to get this as a seven star. I've got as a six star. And use her quite a lot in things like uh, AQ and other content because you can build up uh, through her ability quite nicely end champion on a third uh, sp3 and then you'll be able to like smash into the next fight and also have the pre-fight where you're able to life steal back and that could be quite helpful so survivability sustainability but health and healing back so on uh, the digi souls for example drop below drop below 15 percent uh 18,073 compared with the uh the six star version which is da, 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 um, 7,115. So yeah, that helps a lot when it comes to, again, sustainability, survivability. It's probably one of the reasons that I'd love to see a King Groot in, uh, in this a lot, because I love these survivability champions. And look, we haven't talked about anything when it comes to um, uh, some of these champions used in... I mean, look, there's other champions that regen as well. I'm not just saying, I mean, you've got Wiccan that's got regeneration. I think Wong's got regeneration as well. Uh, and a few others as well. But I'd love to see like what these champions are able to do in um, in incursions. That would be something that's pretty cool down the line to see like how effectiveness, the, their effectiveness, survivability, sustainability, and also how they kind of action into things like hacks and stuff like that. In any case, that has been the video. I wanted to do, as I said, a dissection type video on seven stars and look at like what stats could be really good with these ones. And maybe that's something as a, as a video for the future, like what stat focuses are the best to choose for each individual champion. However, though, I do feel that that point is kind of moot because it's going to be situational. One time you may say to yourself, this champion should be using this for this situation. And this is why I like stat focus and I wish that this was like the relic system within the game. Except for this is like you pick and choose. Except relics are a bit different than what I was expecting. But in any case, it is what it is. 
I quite like these stat focuses and seven stars. These are the things that I would have hoped for more than I would have relics. But again, down to personal opinion on that. But what are your thoughts on some of these stats on some of these particular champions? Put it in the comment section down below and sound off. Check out some other content located on screen. And I'll see you all soon. Much love and goodbye.